<laughs> right at Sarah, this fair opened just about an hour ago and already we're expecting a ton of people, especially with how beautiful it is outside. We're expecting probably about thousands of people here. So whether you're here for the food, the music, the crafts, or even my good friend Dahlia, who's almost one month old, you'll have a full day on your itinerary. An utter day and utter dollar for these cows, especially for this one here, squeezing in some Z's before the gates open to the public. When it's busy here, we're crowded wall to wall. People want to come see the cows. Welcome to the Cow Palace. It is home to hundreds of dairy and beef cattle at the 103rd Durham Fair. Kathy Robinson, the coordinator of livestock, encourages families, especially children, to educate themselves on the importance of agriculture. They need to know where their food comes from. You know, kids think, oh, we go to the store and buy a bottle of milk. They don't understand what's behind the scenes of that. And without the farms, we won't eat. Aside from being one of the largest fairs in North America, the Durham Fair has over 1,700 volunteers, welcoming more than 200,000 people. It's a big reunion. I mean, you see so many people that you only see once a year at the Durham Fair. While this weekend is expected to be a washout, the Fair Association says that is no excuse to not dabble in on some fun. The great thing about the Durham Fair is a lot of our buildings, we have beautiful buildings, so our displays are inside. So even if it is raining, you're able to come and still walk through. And you can always look on the bright side. Don't stay away. It'll, um, maybe the lines won't be as long. We do a lot of business here. Rain or shine, the Cog and Chog bench warmers are ready for you. One of the things about this booth, you're gonna walk by, we're usually yelling out to people, we're, we're chanting, we're just having a good time. You can tell from the hats, we, we don't take things that serious. Yeah, not that serious at all. And again, today is the first day of the Durham Fair. It is open until 10 o'clock tonight. But if you're not able to make it out here tonight, you still have until the next three days. I'm live in Durham, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.